Hello and good morning YouTube. Welcome back to Tree Man TV. Today's video, as you can tell by the fact that I'm sitting in my car, we have got another episode of the car vlog series for you guys. It has been a hot minute since we got one of these done, but today is kind of a how-to video. So it's already a video that's up here. We're gonna do some maintenance on my car. Nothing drastic, no upgrades. We're doing oil and spark plugs, just a general tune-up. I do also have something in my stereo I have to chase down with the wires, but we're gonna show you guys a really simple how-to guide on how to change the oil in your Subaru WRX, in case that's something you're looking for. Let's roll the intro and get right on into it. Oh wow, yeah, we got fresh stock on all the oil and all the filters. What's the number on the Super Tech? What? 6607? 6607. The heck is it? Bam. 6607. That's the oil filter we'll need. Castro 540? Bam. Alright, so we got the oil, the spark plugs, the filter, breakfast. Now Uncle Jules is going to tell you guys the first thing you should do when you change your oil. Blow it up. Blow it up? Blow it up. Blow it up. Just blow it up. Is it because it's not a 4G? You just blow it up? No. No, just in general. Just in general. Remember, we got to go green. So oh, yeah, we got to go. We got to go green. So this is all wrong. Oh. What do we put in here instead of this? Apparently, we just get a giant lithium battery with some motors. You know, those things that create <laughs> giant... Self-man-made impact craters. But I wanted nuclear fusion reactors. You know what? That would probably last. Well, actually, not probably. It would last a million times longer than right? any lithium battery known to man. Right? I just don't know if they have cold fusion, you know, mastered yet. Or if it's still the other kind. Where it's well, violent. Even, even so, I mean, if we can harness the energy and give it to the people through houses and stuff like that how come we can't do it for vehicles or anything else I'm, I'm sure there's lots of other alternatives than lithiums and fucking batteries and yeah you don't like batteries i have no, no problem with batteries but it's just not a real feasible solution in my opinion just let's make a million impact craters in the earth and yeah we'll just leave earth when it gets ugly space people yeah Space people, there you go. Space people. But only the rich will get to be space people. Yeah. We'll just be stuck here on Earth. Well, I mean, if you think about it already, look at who's gone to space. Yeah, exactly. They're just... Bezos. Yeah, they're getting ready. But once they go to space, then we can go back to doing whatever we want on Earth. Uh, kind of. <laughs> who's going to stop us? Everyone else will be in space. True. So, yeah, uh, you, you just got to get rid of this entire thing. Yeah, okay. So that's how you change oil. Just pull out your whole motor. Pull out your whole motor. And then boom, no more oil. No more oil. All right, you guys, so unless you're a super skinny boy like me, then the first thing you're going to want to do is probably jack the front end of the car up a little bit. But if you can fit under there like I can, then all it's going to be is just basically one bolt. The drain plug bolt right there, and then up over here somewhere is the filter right there. There's the filter. That's literally all you got to do to drain your oil. The hardest thing is probably going to be getting it in the air for most of you out there. But if you're skinny enough, you can just fit under there. So you mean to tell me all that hot sauce is from one trip to Taco Bell? trip to Taco Bell. They just threw in like yeah. 50 hot sauce packs? Yeah. What did their girls order? I think they ordered like quesadillas and like tacos. But like how many? Like 20? Like, no, Natalie, it was probably one quesadilla. Knowing Shauna, it was probably, you know, like a two tacos. And I think they had her friend with her. So it was probably like... Another quesadilla. So probably like four items in total. So definitely not enough to warrant. No, like, not not enough to warrant for even basically half the box of hot like sauce. Like a month supply of hot sauce. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I can probably literally make like some kind of friggin', I don't know. Or right, something. Like, something with all that hot sauce. You just have a dish on the table that's just Taco Bell hot sauce. This stuff. It's like, instead of packets, you just fill it up. Yeah, I, what I'm going to start doing is just gathering Taco Bell hot sauce and I'll make like... Like maybe Taco Bell pork chops or something. There you go. <laughs> but do you do just the regular hot or do you got to get like the super hot sauce from Taco Bell? No, I, I actually prefer the hot sauce. Okay. I, the other sauces are kind of weird tasting, but it's just like, 
Like, what kid decided to dump half the box in there? Yeah, I know. That's like if you go to the drive thru and ask for ketchup and they just throw, like, yeah. the whole box. They're like, yeah, just take like, the case. It's like, here, hold on. They yeah. just give you the fucking yeah. case. We yeah. have nothing better to do with it. We're not going to use it. No one else is going to want it. And they got Venom. Venom! He's going to be the next Avenger, right? I hope. Did you watch the new Doctor Strange one? Yes. Yeah, I just watched that one when it came on yeah. Disney Plus the other but, night. But uh, you have to watch... What if? You got No, you got to watch uh, WandaVision to actually oh, yeah, understand that. everything. Oh, yeah. And What If, too. I never watched What If. What If is where you're going to meet Captain Carter for the first time. Granted, she doesn't uh, last long. Yeah. Is that that felt cheap. Is that where she comes into play? Yeah, they explain like the whole multiverse in that show a lot more. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was wondering where she came into play. And now, while we let the oil drain, we're going to move on to the next step, which is changing the spark plugs. And those are going to be right down there, behind the coil packs. So, that's the fun part here, because it's a boxer motor, so we don't have a whole lot of room. Yeah, because that's usually pretty warm down there. Yeah. Here, I'll hand you the coil pack after I'm done. You can tell me how warm it is. Oh, great. Hopefully I don't drop the viewers at home. Oh yeah, that's warm. That's definitely warm. Not burn your hand hot, but definitely something I don't want to keep holding on to. And how long are the coil packs good for again? Um, they're actually good for quite a while. Uh, it, it's hard to say. Like, what would cause you to need to replace a coil pack? Uh, misfires, uh, shorts in... In the pack itself. In the itself, pack itself. Which would cause a misfire, of course. Right. Which was happening in my car, if you remember that. The GC? Yeah. Oh, okay. when I was getting that high... That's right, because you changed your plugs, you yeah. did, this, did that, and it ended up being the coil oh, pack. Max, yeah. But they're not like spark plugs in the sense that you need to change them every X amount of miles? Yeah. Definitely not. Just if something goes bad? Bad, yeah. Okay. I mean, you can get to a point where you get weaker spark and it'll still run fine, but... You It'll be hard to notice unless you're pushing that high power to where that spark generated isn't strong enough. What about the, like, have you heard of the plasma coil packs yes, or whatever? Yes, I have. Um, What's supposed to be the benefit to those? Like, you have, I believe it's the Ikeda or Ikeda racing coil packs or something like that, the, the plasma ones, am I correct? I think so, yeah. And those are, like, literally racing coil packs. That's that's a stronger... Stronger spark? Yeah. It's just stronger all in general. Does it last but better for longevity? Um, normal everyday usage, like normal everyday driving car, I would say, yeah, it'd be uh, longer lasting. But, I mean, those are supposedly for race applications. Right. Where that consistent... So when you're racing or building a high horsepower car, you want consistent spark. You want to make sure that fucker is firing, it's getting what it's supposed to get. Because Right, you don't have a misfire on the track. Yeah, well, I mean... In a all, race. Yeah, that's all that's going to happen. You get one bad misfire on, let's say, something that's stock, and your engine can literally knock, and you're done. Yeah. So. Would it be an investment? Not something I would invest in, but at the prices these are. If you go to look these up stock... You're looking at like three hundred dollars a coil pack. Really, just for the stock just coil for packs. Just for stock coil pack. So I assume that means you've saved all the ones from the past motors that we've ripped apart here. Some of them, yeah. Some mm -hmm. of them are bad. There is a way to test them. You can resistance test them. Okay. And supposedly, if they give you some reverse resistance on checking them, they're bad. Oh, okay. Good to know. So, but yeah, they they do go bad. They do need replaced eventually. You just have to basically check them whenever you change your spark plugs? Yeah, and the car will tell you, too. I mean, okay. It, it's going to be one of those trial and error type things. Like, if you're misfiring, you'd be like, okay, well, let's check the spark plugs. Right. Okay, let's check this. It's going to be a process of elimination. Unfortunately, like I said, with mine, we found out it was the coil packs. And it was, like, the last thing in the process of yeah, elimination. it was the la literally the last thing that I have not did, and finally I did that, and... It went away, and now my car holds 20 pounds without any issues. Excellent.
All right, guys, so why don't you go ahead and get the spark plugs in the holes down there. Yeah, let's see if I can get a shot of the holes. Those holes down there. You're going to want to get out your handy-dandy torque wrench like Julian's got here and torque them down to how much? Um, this is aluminum, so I believe spec is... Dun, 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 dun. I haven't done this in a while, but I want to say spec is 18 foot-pounds. 18 foot-pounds? Uh, Give or take? Yeah. I, th I think NGK will tell you an aluminum block, 14 and a half. Okay. So, as long as it's within that range, it's fine. You just don't want to over torque them or not torque them at all. Right. Because you don't want your spark plug backing out. Definitely not. And you don't want your spark plug to break off and or to get stuck in that well. Oh yeah, that'd be a nightmare. That'd be a nightmare. To get out. I don't yeah. even know how you would go about that. Yeah, it wouldn't be fun. No. And always make sure you lube your spark plugs when you put them in with the anti seize. Yes. And be, don't be generous with that because you can put too much and it will, when you go to put it actually in, it can get into the cylinder. Ooh, okay. So, like what, like a pea size or a little yeah, less? Like a just, grain of rice? Just, just under a pea size, enough to go around the threads. Okay. Cool, cool. Thank you everyone for watching today's episode of the car vlog right here on tree man tv i hope this little mini tutorial helped you out if you were looking for how to change your oil on basically any wrx from 2000 to 2007 even if they all look different they've all basically got the same motor under the hood and should just be the drain plug bolt and your oil filter it's really straightforward like i was saying in the video probably the hardest thing for most people is going to be getting the car in the air a little bit if you're not super skinny like I am and you can just slide under your car as long as it's on some sort of like a 45 degree angle you should be good to just slide under there but like I said that's pretty straightforward and for the spark plugs the two biggest pieces of advice I would give would be take out the battery and the reservoir tank for where your windshield wipers are like your wiper fluid tank because that way you'll have more room on the driver's side to get to where the coil packs and the spark plugs actually are and yeah that's it's all pretty straightforward work if you got lost at all comment down below or go back and look in the video again because i think we did pretty good at explaining it but as always if you enjoyed the content here be sure to smash the like button down below and if you want to see more wrx tutorials then comment down below what kind of tutorials you'd want to see and me and uncle jules will try to make that happen also, if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button, not only for this sweet, juicy car vlog content, but also all of the gaming content that we bring to you guys right here on Tree Man TV. And we're trying to hit 300 subscribers still, so, you know, we're almost there. We're slowly grinding our way. But until next time, this is Tree Man, signing off. Peace.